Namaste everyone. I am Suhana Lama and now I am back with one of the participating teams in the Moonquick Indoor School Lunar Habitat Challenge 2.0. This is St. Joseph School and they have traveled a very long way from Viratnagar which is out of the valley. So hi guys. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Uh, good afternoon to everyone. It's Ms. Tuti Kesi starting in Standard 9. Very warm good afternoon to everyone. It's me, Posana Bharati from Standard 9. Good afternoon and namaste to everybody. My name is Vanya Dikari and I'm from Grade 9. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. I'm also from Grade 9. My name is Swaru Parajuli. So, how are you guys liking the Moonquake Lunar Habitat Challenge? It's, uh, it's quite good. It helps us to get encouraged and motivated to do various kinds of things and get uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. It is quite more interesting than we expected it to be. It's more better than we thought it would be. Thus, there are certain things that happen suddenly and bring shock, and sometimes <laughs> it gives, it brings out unexpected reactions from us. It's very different. So, like, uh, how was your first day and second day too? During our first day, we became a bit late due to our bus delay and all. But seeing the environment and uh, all the people, we were quite. Uh, joyful for uh, our com upcoming days and yeah it was quite joyful the way we were treated as we were late but still we were treated very politely and very nicely that made us feel so warmly welcomed and that was very amazing although we had just arrived yesterday and we had come to school uh, come to the school and for the program very late like everybody treated us very warmly so it made us feel welcomed and loved so it was very good at first, the hall, the situation was extremely intense, but we slowly got adjusted and it was very comfortable. So, do you guys think you got, you're got you you're like going to win this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, so. let's go! <laughs> like, would you guys want to uh, participate in more upcoming challenges? Yeah. Or, yes, of course. And what would you guys want to do in future? So, as my dream is to be an architecture and uh, so... Architect, architect, architecture. So, I decided of coming here because uh, I can uh, put my creative skills and arts in the designs, and also I'm also here to improve my own skills. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really good. So, uh, what motivated me to come over here is that I am really interested in science, and I thought that this challenge will be like will uh, increase the level of interest in science more and more. So, I'll I hope that I get more interested and more I like I'll get to participate in various kinds of uh, challenges like this. Yeah. As I want to be a doctor, but so yeah, it is science. Doctor is science. So I thought that coming here would help me to gain my confidence and make me feel more secured when I'm talking to other people. So I hope that I continue participating in those things. So that is why I came here. I hope too. <laughs> uh, one of my aims for the future it might be either CA or IT. And for the yeah. CA. There's a, we need finance and for the finance there's a role of budget manager so I really, I really think it will help me a lot in the future so that is my real motivation to come here. Thank you so much guys. I hope all your dreams come true and you learn a lot from this challenge. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.